Dear students, today we start new chapter, chapter number seven, the God Adventure. Adventure, Sahas. This is a story about the adventures act performed by some gods. Adventure is really a delightful performance to do. It requires courage, strong will, hard work, determination and perseverance means to go on working. Have you ever got into trouble because of a prank or some mischief? Suppose Because of some mischievous act that you might have done, you may be put into trouble. What happens? Read this story about how three naughty boys get into trouble. There were three friends. They were mischievous or naughty. Their names were Harry, Jack, and Dan. Harry said, I say, do you know the early plums are ripe in Mr. John's orchard? Harry talks with his friends, Lamb and Jack. He says, I say, did you know the early plums are ripe in Mr. John's orchard? Plum is a fruit. Mr. John's is an orchard owner. He is an owner of an orchard. In his orchard, he grew fruit trees. No, are they? said Jack. I want we go and get some. His friend Jack says that he would like to go <coughs> and get some. To what means to give them that? What in action? Yes, let us, said Jack. Then, when shall we go? Is old Mr. Johns ever out? He is a real prospect and I wouldn't fall to be caught by him. What does Len say? Len says that when shall we go? They would go or they ran. The owner of the orchard would be out. If he is present, <coughs> they cannot go inside and get the fruits of his orchard. <coughs> what does Len say about the owner of the orchard, Mr. Jones? He says he is a real prospect. What is meant by crosspatch? Crosspatch is a person who gets angry very easily. Angry nature. And then say that I wouldn't wish to be caught 
by him. If they are caught by him, they will be put into great trouble. He may scold them, he may beat them. And he said, he has gone to help his brother run the grocer shop down in the town. Now Harry gives the information about where has the owner of the orchard Mr. Jones gone. He says that Mr. Jones has gone out downtown to his brother. His brother owned a green grocer shop. Grocer sells grocery, grapes and sugar and tea and wheat and rice and pulses and cereals and other things. They are grocer. Now green grocers sell vegetables and fruit. So Mr. Jones had gone downtown to run a grocer's shop of his brother. Green grocer's shop. Mr. Jones owned a farm and orchard where he grew fruits. His brother owned a shop of green grocer in downtown. Mr. Jones had gone to help him run his shop. It would be, said Harry, it would be quite safe says to go this evening. I should think no. it would be it would be quite safe to go this evening, I should think, because Charles was not over there at the orchard. They didn't shut the shop till half past six. Till half past six in the evening. They didn't shop stop. Stop the shop, close the shop, shut the shop. And after shutting the shop, they always clear up. It takes more of half an hour now to clear up the shop. So before seven, it was not likely for Johns to come back to his orchard. Harry said, they don't shut the shop till half past six and after that they always clear up, it is necessary to clear up the shop. Right, let us meet at the orchard gate at six, said Jack. Jack <coughs> agreed, all right. Now let us meet at the orchard gate at six o'clock because they have got one hour, about one hour of time before the owner of the orchard, Mr. Jones, comes back to his orchard. We will have plenty of time to slip into the field. We will have plenty of time, a lot of time, to slip past it, secretly, calmly, into the field of orchard of this climb the plum trees and pick what we want before Mr. John comes home. Before Mr. John come, John's come. We will we will easily slip into the orchard, climb the trees, get the plums, come out. <coughs> Oh, lovely right plum tree, then. I shall fill my pocket. Plum, lamb was looking forward to fill the whole of his pocket and his belly to collect and eat rich ripe plums. 
right there. The three boys who were really mischievous, the three boys met outside the orchard again. At the evening, at about six o'clock, these three mischievous boys met <coughs> at the orchard again. Mr. John Spotter looked empty. There was nobody in Mr. John Spotter nearby. It was locked. There was a lock hanging at the door. So they found that there was nobody inside the cottage as Mr. Johns has, had gone downtown to help his brother run the green grocer shop. The door of the cottage was locked. So it was, it was decided that there was nobody in the cottage and there was no one around. Also there was no one around in the orchard. <coughs> it was a lonely place. So it was a very good chance for them to enter the orchard, climb the trees, get the plums as many as they want. Out easily, and nobody was likely to come by, and there was nobody to come by to catch them plucking the plums. So there was a very good chance for them to get the plums, but this is not an act of honesty. When there is nobody in the orchard, they should not enter the orchard. And nobody was likely to come. Means well, it was not possible that anybody would come within short time. Now answer some questions. Who were Harry, Jack and Nan? Harry, Jack and Nan were three friends, young boys. How were they? They were naughty, mischievous boys. Who was Mr. Jones? Mr. Jones was the owner of an orchard of plums. Why had Mr. Jones gone downtown? Mr. Jones had gone downtown to help his brother run the green grocer shop. Why had Mr. Jones gone downtown. Answer Mr. Jones had gone downtown to help his brother run Green Brothers shop. <coughs> what did the three boys decide? The three boys decided to meet at the gate of the orchard cottage at 6 o'clock even and when they met there was nobody around the cottage was locked
Read the chapter, listen. 